Fucking get in there! At fucking last, I knew it! I knew it! All right, all right, all right. Let's take a second to just calm down. A new low way in. It's quite hard for me to explain the importance of that new low way in. But if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you'll know. If you've been tuned in on my other social media, you will know that I've been stuck at 182.2 pounds. And if anything, above that, at 183, 184, 185. For like three weeks and the weight just wasn't going anywhere. Um, but anyway, what's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. And I feel like that kind of that weighing can actually lead into the first question of today's Q&A with LSJ. And that is, I always seem so happy, how am I always so positive? To be honest, I would say the answer to that is to always try and see the bright side and everything. Try and j just... It doesn't matter how bad a situation is, if you can find a smidgen of hope, a smidgen of something good, something positive, then there's hope moving forwards. You know, if you can find that teeniest little thing, no matter how hard or how small that thing is, it can make a big difference to you mentally. And so that's what I always try and do. And um, hopefully, well, clearly that's rubbing off on you guys. And so that's, <laughs> that's made me feel good. But anyway, uh, as you guys can see by the title and the answer of the first question, today's video is going to be a QA. and a I asked a question on my Instagram and got a surprising amount of responses. So I'm just going to kind of go throughout my day like I normally do. And um, yeah, answer some questions for you guys. <laughs> Just looks like Cocoa Pops, right? So um, this leads me on to the next question. Um, as you guys can see, I've just made a bowl of porridge and put one scoop of lean active whey protein chocolate orange flavor. So now I have chocolate orange flavored oats, which is pretty damn freaking cool. A good kick of protein and a good healthy breakfast. So the question is tips for cutting. Now, I mean, while I might not be the best <laughs> person to be giving this advice because I have not had the low weigh in for three weeks and only in today's video did I have one but something like this will help you regardless of your situation because this is going to be high fiber high protein you can have something like scrambled eggs on toast but usually you know whole wheat bread get get some good fiber in there if you can there's just little things that you can do to keep yourself fuller for a little bit longer and then obviously if you're full you're not going to be snacking and so if you're not snacking you're going to have less calories less calories means you lose weight so driving the scales down. I also like to wash it down with a glass of fresh OJ purely because um, porridge can get a little sticky um, and especially when you get towards the end of it and it's really soaked up the water it gets kind of it can get kind of gross so if you have something nice and refreshing like a glass of orange juice to wash it down with then perfect Okay, so the next question is from my course mate, Maisie, and she says, um, <laughs> what are you going to do when you finish up all the work you've got to do? Now, I'm balancing you on my printer right now, but as you can see, my desk is fully loaded up with uni work because I'm in the final stages of my dissertation. It's pretty much going to be finished by the end of this week, so probably by the time you see the next video, my dissertation will be done, finished, completely over with. Um, and the short answer is, Maisie, I am going to get absolutely f No, but in all seriousness though, um, everything will be wrapped up around the time of my birthday. Uh, everything will be done by the time of my birthday and by the time body power comes around. And so when we hit body power, um, pretty much everything from there is just going to be celebrations because all of this lot will be gone. Um, the degree will be finished and... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's a lot of things going through my mind when I say that. Next question, what would you recommend for increasing bench? Now, again, just the same as the cutting question, I might not be the best advocate to tell this because my bench is probably, in the grand scheme of things, my weakest lift. I've got a strong overhead press, a decent squat, 
Um, but my bench press is kind of lagging behind. I've been trying to bring it up. And the way I've been doing that is not only by doing accessory movements to strengthen the chest overall, build more muscle on the chest, which overall, you know, is going to make a difference somewhat. Um, I've also been benching more. Um, I was unsatisfied with my benching, uh, you know, a year ago or whatever, and so I upped the frequency. If you're unhappy with the amount you can bench, then simply just bench more. If you're benching once a week, then bench twice a week. If you're benching twice a week already and you're doing three sets, maybe bench twice a week and do four sets. Something like that that's going to make a simple, easy progressive overload difference to your training. Eventually, you might not see it overnight, of course you're not going to see it overnight, but in the long run, you will see the difference to your training and your bench will go up. Uh, I mean, I only managed to get my, I say only, I managed to get my bench to 112.5 kilos. Bearing in mind, I could only do 90 kilos just before Christmas. That's, that's not bad, but I implemented these techniques um, and it worked for me. So give it a go and let me know if it works for you. So that clip, that little sit, oh come on, focus, focus, okay. That clip was supposed to lead into us having a little quick trip to Asda because as you guys know we have the car now, we can just take a trip to the supermarket um, and have a little bit more freedom. But um, despite it being a beautiful day outside here in sunny Nottingham, um, Long story short, limited car parking spaces on the street means that we have to be very careful when we come and go, um, so we're not going anymore. So instead what I'm going to do is just real quick answer some short, quick fire questions for you guys. That is not going to work. Okay. Next question. When are you and I going to get together? That is from Jack. Um, Jack, to be honest with you mate whenever you're ready. If you're gonna be in and around body power, then let me know uh, and we can sort something out. Of course, mate, it would be a pleasure to finally meet you. Um, Lewis, why have you stopped posting the pics of Space Jam pose? Okay, so if you follow my Instagram, then you know I do this kind of pose a lot, you know, and, and a lot of lot of this or sort of, all that kind of stuff. Um, myself, Jack, Lewis, and a few more people are in a group chat and we're trying to come up with a name for that kind of signature pose. Um, and Lewis, I haven't actually stopped posting it, it's just been in videos and so it hasn't been on the thumbnail of the video or the photo or whatever. Um, but I post it probably way more than I should, at least every other day. He's also asked what my inspiration was when I created it. Well, to be honest, my inspiration was, it's quite a classic bodybuilding pose and it's just not a very well used one because it's quite a hard one to hit. So I, I feel like if I practice it from right now, when I'm you know, still young and not actually have a lot of size on me in general, by the time I have that size and by the time I have that experience, when I eventually step on stage in a few years time, I can absolutely smash that pose. And the final question from Lewis is, what piece of gym equipment are you dying to get in your home gym? I wouldn't say I'm dying to get anything because I think it's pretty damn good as it is. I um, can't really think of anything that I would add, I'm desperate to add. Of course I would love to add to it because, um, well, why not? It's, just, it's only going to make it better and only going to make my training when I'm in the home gym better. However, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily desperate to actually do anything to it. Okay, so we have had a fair few questions on this, um, on this Q&A post on my Instagram, right? So, my intention is to get through as many of them as possible. My way of doing that is just going to be by going through my phone right now. From Joe, favourite muscle to train, definitely shoulders. Um, goals by the end of the year, I'll get to that in a minute, that's a great question. Um, what's your biggest, who's your biggest fitness inspo? Um, probably Rob Lipsit, but then again, there's, you know, Arnold and all those kind of people. So whether it's specific to YouTube, it would be Rob Lipsit. Um, and then Arnold's just the king. Favourite Halo Top flavour, that would be the salted caramel one. I had it the other day. I've only tried the peanut butter and the caramel one, but that one tops it for me so far. Um, what are your plans after you have finished uni? That's from Ollie Ranson. Ollie is actually a long, 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 long term subscriber who's actually travelling in Australia. And it's funny that you should say that, Ollie, because I have 
Kind of similar plans. Um, once I finish uni, I want to earn myself some money, but not by doing the job I'm eventually going to do. I want to earn myself some money by working in a gym, doing some personal training, online clients, all that kind of stuff. Earn myself some money for around about a year, uh, maybe a little bit more, just depends how long it takes to save the amount of money I need to go traveling to Australia, um, which is exactly what Ollie Ranson is doing. Um, he actually has his own blog and stuff like that, and so, um, if he drops a comment down below, then follow his links and all that kind of stuff, and then you can check him out. More than one question, how tall are you? I'm about five foot seven, and what days are you at Body Power? I will be at Body Power Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you are there on any of the days, then you have a good chance of, of, of seeing me. If you drop me a message or something like that, a comment in a video or something like that, near the time of Body Power, um, then I'm sure we can sort something out. How useful are those adjustable dumbbells you got there? So that is the picture on Instagram, this picture right here. I'm actually holding the power blocks uh, and the answer to that is very. They are life-saving because in the home gym I don't have a room. I don't have room for an entire rack of dumbbells whereas you can just stick them on one stand like we do at home um, and have zero to you know 50 kilos potentially which is going to be more than enough for me for a long period of time. So um, yeah, that is that. And we will move on to the big question and the topic of today's video. And that is goals by the end of the year. Now I did a, a video about this when it turned into 2018. Um, and I did a goals for 2018 video. And to be honest with you guys, since then it's kind of changed a little bit. Um, I always say that I want to double what I had the year before. And I had around about six, seven hundred subs I, I i think something oh no, i can't even remember i think i said i wanted 1500 subs by the end of the year um but that's kind of changed now into a short-term goal where i would like to have 1000 subscribers by the time of my birthday now at the time of filming this i'm on hang on 848 subscribers and now that is of Two o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, the 18th of April, 2018. My birthday is on the 19th of May, 2018. So a month and a day to get around about 150 people. If you have been following me for a while, you will know that that, without your guys' help, is just not going to happen. So what I have decided to do is build a little hashtag, build a campaign that you guys can help and get along board and share and everything like that in an attempt to get to that 1,000 subscribers before my birthday. So that hashtag is going to be hashtag 1K by my B day. So if you can use that on Instagram, you can use that on the videos, you can share it and share it on Facebook or whatever. Anything that you f you guys feel will help me get to that goal by my birthday because it would just be a great 21st birthday present. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's a very very to be honest with you out of reach goal i would need around about six or seven people to come to the channel every single day if not more um and subscribe when i average about half that if less um if if not less so that is the reason for the brand new campaign and the and the goals short term would be to get to 1000 by my birthday if not it would be something you know around graduation or something like that that would be great but Hashtag 1K by my B day is in full swing. I hope you guys can get involved. Um, so if you guys at home want to get involved in the hashtag 1K by my B day campaign, firstly, I would be greatly appreciated because anything to help me get towards that goal, um, which is, you know, it seems so far way out of reach, um, just based on general statistics. Um, if you guys would get involved with that, then that would mean the world to me. There will be a giveaway once a week for the next three, four weeks or so uh, to people who comment, you know, hashtag 1K by my B-Day on my photos, on my videos. Um, I'll randomly pick someone every single week uh, to win something. I don't know what that'll be yet, but there will be giveaways once a week in the run-up to it. So, I will say one more thing about this hashtag. It's very, very difficult for me to reach this goal, right? Um, and the chances are it's gonna fail. The chances are it's not gonna happen. The chances are I'm not gonna reach 1K by my B-Day. That's just the reality of it. I know I'm supposed to be building the hype around it, but if I'm being completely honest with you guys and completely honest with myself, it's very unlikely that it's gonna happen. Um, that would discourage a lot of people. Not me. I am not afraid to fail. You guys should not 
be afraid to fail. I'm committing myself to this hashtag, to this campaign, and if it works, then great. Then if not, no, it might provide a little bit of a boost, and then, you know, hell, we'll go to body power, we'll graduate, and everything will be sound either way. You cannot be afraid to fail. You have to be... You have, uh, you know, everyone who's successful has failed hundreds of times, thousands of times. They might not have shown you, but they've failed. Maybe this, even if this is one of those things, hey, we experience the roller coaster that is life together. So, that is all I have to say on the matter. Hashtag 1K Mama B Day if you're still watching in the comments section. Um, thank you guys so much for your support and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you have and a comment down below. Hashtag 1K Mama B Day. Together we will grow. No regrets. See you guys in the next video.